Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today's video is a very, very good one, but it is going to be very, very quick because I was literally just about to leave the house, just about to go out, and then we got the bombshell. Sunderland did tweet out saying we have a 5pm announcement, and of course it was the expected but brilliant, nonetheless, news. That is the signing of Ballard. I did report this yesterday. I did a video yesterday. I give you all my insight and all my thoughts towards this lad. Is He is a class above for me. And I've spoke to a couple of Blackpool fans as well. Of course, I live in Blackpool, so I've got their insight and their knowledge. And they knew immediately that he wasn't of a League One standard. You know, he was way above League One, according to them. And at least a top-end championship sort of standard is what I'm getting. That's the vibe I'm getting from a lot of people who have watched him, of course, a lot more than me, be it Millwall fans or Blackpool fans. This lad is only 22 years of age, of course, played plenty of football for Millwall last season and Blackpool the year before. He's, he's, gone, through the, he's gone through the books at Arsenal, so of course... He's a talented lad. He's a talented lad. So we'll have a look through the, uh, the the Sunderland statement. So Sunderland AFC is delighted to announce the signing of Daniel Ballard. The defender arrives at the Stadium of Light from Arsenal for an undisclosed fee, signing a three-year contract with a club option of a further year. Ballard, 22, returns to the Skybet Championship after enjoying an impressive 2021-22 campaign with Millwall, during which he made 31 appearances in the second tier as the Lions finished ninth. The defender has also spent time on loan with Swindon Town and Blackpool, winning promotion alongside Elliot Embleton for the latter in 2021, and he has over 66 senior appearances under his belt. Described as a tough tackling defender with the passing range of a midfielder, Bullard twice captained the Gunners to the FA Youth Cup final after joining the Londoners Academy aged eight. The 22-year-old has also earned international recognition during his ever-blossoming career, featuring 15 times for Northern Ireland and scoring two goals. Bullard said, It feels amazing to be here and I'm extremely happy. The fan base and the size of this football club speaks for itself and having been up here to have a look around, it feels like an exciting place to be. Supporters can expect to see a player who loves defending and tackling. I'm more of a traditional centre-half and I want to add those qualities to the team whilst also bringing something a little extra. I'm now looking to take the next step forward in my career and I believe this is the perfect place to do it. Alex Neal added, first and foremost, Daniel will add competition. Callum Doyle's loan deal ended in May and Arby Jamali left the club. So we wanted to add in that area and Daniel fits into our structure of being a young up-and-coming player who also has championship experience. He fits the bill and he also knows what it takes to win, sampling success with Blackpool in the playoffs before having a year under his belt in the second tier with Millwall last season. We are really pleased to get this deal over the line. Now, as Alex Neal alludes to there, he absolutely fits the bill and the kind of players that we have been going for over the last sort of couple of transfer windows anyway. You know, sort of young, up-and-coming players. That's very clearly, you know, I think, to be fair, we were doing that even when Lee Johnson were here and, you know, Speakman does kind of... He heads the recruitment department. But at the end of the day, that the manager has to be on board and has to give the green light on certain signings. But it seems as though Alex Neal does agree and does line up with those sort of visions and those expectations and what we're actually looking for in a player. Young, hungry, he's got it. You know, like I say, everyone who I've spoke to has seen Ballard, you know, be it Millwall fans or Blackpool fans. It's nothing but pure positivity. And it's so exciting to see that he's on a three-year deal with an option to a fourth. So this is a long-term defender that we've got here and a real quality one at that. Of course, it's an undisclosed fee, but rumours I have seen is that they actually come to an agreement, Ballard and Burnley, for £2 million, but in the end, I think there's just another option that Burnley sort of weighed up and preferred to go for someone else, but that's their prerogative, you know. But to see that, you know, a team that have just come down from the Premier League were interested in Ballard that much, of course, someone else come up, so that just happens in football. But to see that, you know, a team that have just come down from the Premier League were interested, it shows the quality that this lad does have. And he obviously has seen the potential of this club. This club it does have a massive amount of potential. So to have him on the long term as well, absolutely fantastic. And it shows, you know, apparently there was a list, there was a plethora of clubs that wanted this lad. So it is showing that we are willing to spend the money if we really want the target in, in question at the time. And of course, we really wanted Ballard. We've gone out and we've got him. So of course, that is absolutely fantastic. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. I really am. I wish I could show you more of my buzz, which sounds very dodgy now when I say it. But, <laughs> oh, man, man. Jesus Christ. I mean, <laughs> Jesus, that sounds bad. I, I mean, I wish I could just kind of act a bit more happier, but I'm speaking really quick because I really need to leave the house, like right now, but I need to edit this video as well. I won't show you my buzz. Um, <laughs> but yeah, one other piece of news. 
God. Yeah, one other piece of news, of course. Yesterday, Bailey Wright has signed a two-year contract. Some more good news. Absolutely buzzing. I won't show you me buzz, but it is buzzing. Uh, it's a buzzing bit of news, isn't it? Bailey Wright, two years. I won't do the full you know, statement and everything like that. And I was going to do the uh, a video on it last night, but I, I had this feeling that Ballard may have been announced late last night. So I kind of held off and I was going to merge the two pieces of news, but of course it didn't happen. But fantastic as well. So, you know, we've got uh, Diak, who's back at the club, of course. And a deal, we've done the same with Roberts. Um, Pato on a long-term deal. Now, Bailey Wright's this core is remaining and sticking with us. The core that I've spoke about before so many times that have got us up and they'll have that connection, that bond and that winning mentality now. We're, we're keeping those on long-term contracts and now to add someone of the quality, the ilk of Ballard as well. It seems to be really rolling in the right direction now and hopefully we can continue to recruit. You know, Alex Neal has said that it is a big building job. He said that in a previous interview, I think just the other day or about a week or so ago, you know, he's fully aware of the the task at hand, you know, particularly, you know, all over the pitch. We're really, really short. It's quality sprinkled across, don't get me wrong, but we're really, really short. So I'm looking to uh, to see us push on, and it's going to be quite an exciting transfer window, uh, I would think. But anyway, that's it, guys. What do you think of the signing of Ballard? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed, though, hit the like button and keep subscribing. You guys are smashing it. We're so, so close to 15K. Since I literally just asked you guys to start subscribing yesterday, like 30 odd people just subscribed like that. So there's so many of you guys that are watching, enjoying, and you just haven't clicked the subscribe button. It takes two seconds. If you hate me down the line, which you probably will, I'm a bit of a tit, but, <laughs> but you might want to unsubscribe. That's perfectly fine. But as of right now, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Take care and stay jamming.